we've had a lot of excitement uh, generated by our Rockstar indicator. This indicator was developed to give a signal when a, a very particular set of parameters of a certain set of very high performance indicators become positive. Okay, this is the trade setup that we trade in our trade room every day. The name Rockstar actually came from the members of our trade room after trading our setup. The uh, overwhelming response uh, over a long period of time has been, boy, you know, this is really a rock star. And uh, so it kind of adopted that name. The, the setup was created when we added some confluent levels of divergence to a trade setup that we were already successfully trading in the trade room using order flow. But by adding divergence, it really turned this trade setup into a into a rock star. So I'm going to go through this. Uh, I've got three charts on the screen now that I'm going to be showing you here. The one on the left has no indicators on it to show how easy it is to miss a good setup just by trying to read uh, order flow. The chart in the middle has some of our intentional trader heads up display indicators that we use to identify and enter our high probability trade setups. These are real powerful confluence of indicators that are very easy to read, understand, and, and learn in a very short period of time. The indicators are extremely flexible and can be used for many different types of tradings. We use them for quick pullbacks in our trade room, but they are ideal for knowing when exhaustion is setting in and, and there's a high probability of price doing something different, essentially stalling or pulling back or even a reversal. Many traders use them to help them with exits or scaling into or out of trades. On this chart on the right, I'm showing the Rockstar indicator. All of the indicators that are shown on the chart in the middle are inside the Rockstar indicator, including all of the parameter settings for each of those indicators. So it's uh, very easy to tune the Rockstar indicator to whatever your trading style or trading risk tolerances are. As I uh, advance these charts, you'll notice that the current bar begins to develop a confluence of indicators, suggesting that a, uh, a set of positive conditions exist so for example, this would be a trade setup for us in the trade room uh, with a confluence of an overbought or an oversold condition in this case, of a uh, order flow condition such that it is highly unlikely that retail traders could have created this condition because of the speed of the orders coming through. And then a number of divergent conditions suggesting the, that even though price is dropping, momentum has already shifted directions. So price and momentum are diverging. Uh, and when that happens, price will almost always try to catch up with momentum. These indicators, there's actually two different momentum oscillators here that are suggesting that the momentum has shifted directions. So as we progress this chart, you'll notice that as soon as these conditions existed here, we printed a rock star here. So the, the trade for us in the trade room would be at the open of this bar as soon as the indicator prints. So you'll notice that the indicators print in real time as soon as the condition exists. And we got a nice little uh, at this point, we don't know if it's a pullback or a, rever a reversal, but we did pick up that something different is about to happen, and it, and it indeed happened. So we just continue on. There's another rock star, okay? Another oversold condition, another speed tick, telling us that the speed of the orders coming through, it's unlikely that retail traders could trade that fast, so this is a manipulated bar. We want to look for these manipulated bars because what they're doing is they're actually manipulating the market so that we'll do something. So that us retail traders will do something and they know what it is that we're going to do because we do it every single time. 
Now we have four levels of divergence or four different momentum oscillators suggesting price and momentum have diverged. So at the open of this bar we would put an order on to buy. Um, it may you may get lucky and actually get a better fill by getting a fill down here if price if it opens and drops a little bit. But you see we also got that this is our rock star trade setup that we trade in the trade room. This is the rock star indicator that picks up the parameters that we set inside of the rock star to um, present a signal. Okay. This time we have an overbought condition. That's this pink outline. Speed tick. Five levels of divergence. On the open of this bar or better, if you can get a better fill, would have been the sell order. And there's your rock star. Notice just because we have divergent signals or, or signals of divergence, that doesn't mean necessarily that we have a trade setup, although these three bars did precede this big push up. All right, notice no rock star here because we didn't have any divergence here. Doesn't mean price isn't going to pull back, it just means that the probability is not as high without divergence. Couple of rock stars there. And down she goes.